Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to review the monstrous manual for Big Eyes Small Mouth D20. Now Big Eyes Small Mouth from the name BESM is probably going to give many people the indication that it is based on anime and manga and you would be correct. Um, and this is a point based version of the D20 system. And if you like point based systems I think that you should give Big Eyes Small Mouth a look. There's also another game based off of the Big Eye Small Mouth D20 license, and that is Everstone Blood, Blood Legacy. And I actually prefer that version of their spell, their um, point-based system to this one. I'm not a big anime manga fan, and anime and manga is a very large school of genres. It is not a specific genre. It's many different things. You can have all kinds of different um, themes and genres within the the sphere of anime and manga. Um, and because of that, it has to cover a lot of bases that I'd have no use for, no interest in. Whereas Everstone Blood Legacy is fantasy, but it's fantasy with a kind of uh, Earth Dawn vibe going on there with some psychic abilities, almost almost steampunky, but not quite. And I it much better fits the vibe I like for fantasy and I think it's one of the best ideas that you could have brought out of um, the D20 license. Now I'll freely admit that Radiance in my mind replaced my love of Everstone because I think Radiance did the whole point based thing better um, though I admit I'm not still 100% in love with the idea of using your life points essentially to fuel your powers not hot on that sometimes. However, if you like point-based stuff, you could use Everstone. And if you like point-based stuff and you like anime and manga, you could use Big Guy Small Mouth D20. Now, this book is the monstrous manual for the Big Guy Small Mouth game. It's a point-based monster manual. All of the monsters from the OGL, the Open Gaming License, are in this book broken down by point based features. This is a thing of beauty because it offers so much content allowing you to compare monster and monster, allowing you to use those point based traits to build monsters of your own. And one of the things I liked about this, well first of all the kind of the art's kind of nice in here. Um, uh, they, and what they don't have individual images, but there's every few pages, every, every like 10 or 10, 12 pages, there's a big pa double page splash. And most of them are, are, are right at my alley. There's a couple in there that I, I thought were a little visually busy. The art itself is excellent, but I thought there was a little bit much going on there. Um, but I talked to an artist, artist friend of mine who's an actual artist, um, and she kind of liked the busy scene. So I guess, you know, different tastes. So you may like them as well. But what I really loved about this, besides the fact that it's point based and you can break things down in a way um, that uh, is uh, going to help you to build monsters that you want. And there's a conversion um, rules in the back so you can convert any monster from any D20 product you want to to this point based system. So again, there's a lot of content in here. I got this particular book from the Troll and Toad or Toad and Troll clearance sale. I think I paid 50 cents or something like that for this book. It was an awesome price. Maybe 99 cents, I can't remember. But the best part, I think, is these little squares. At the end of every single entry, there is an entry here in a shaded text, which gives you the anime version or suggestions for an anime version of that traditional fantasy monster. Now, I'm gonna. This is. I just pick one at random here. This is the anime homunculi. Uh, remove the uh, Himaculus's unique defects, which gives you a point change, and replace the, te the telepathy point with a point value and simple radio uh, gear rank, and it can make an effective futuristic spy robot. That's a really interesting way of looking at it. Taking the stats, completely changing it, but allowing the GM. Just, you just file on the serial numbers off that, but using the same information. Um, the Poison Bite special attack can be, uh, can be replaced with a short range laser as follows. Special attack ranks so and so, um, which gives you then uh, 
how to make it dangerous. And now every single, at a range, every single monster in this book has one of these entries. And it is awesome. Uh, Anime Griffins. Griffin statistics can be adopted to replace almost any large flying mount which have some limited combat capabilities such as great back creatures or riding dragons. In most cases, the pounce and rake attack should be removed with the point, uh, uh, building point you know, variation here. Additional special attacks and other attributes can be added as appropriate such as fiery breath weapon for a dragon or a solar sense and vampire bite for a bat, that kind of thing. Um, they actually also have dragons in here, because a lot of the time in anime and manga, dragons are big. They're smog big. They're far bigger than you normally find in your traditional D&D or Pathfinder game. And because this is a system that uses a point-based core, changing the size of something is relatively simple by increasing or decreasing the, the point you're spending to build this particular creature. So you could have colossal-sized dragons in here, that aren't ancient, they're just really big at a, at a younger age. Um, you can have giants that are really, really big. Um, the Tarask can be changed if you want them even larger and more impressive. Or, you, for example, you could keep the stats and make them bigger, can you, and, and it becomes real true um, kaiju, but um, one that can maybe a little, it's more of a glass tiger, if you get my idea. It, it's a little more easier to defeat, at least initially, until you realize you need to wish to actually kill it. That kind of thing. Um, so you can do some really big, sweeping, you know, operatic, high fantasy stuff with this, which is plays right into the whole anime manga trope, if you ask me. Um, so I think this is an absolute treasure trove. In the back it says, D20 Monsters Redefined, and that is an incredibly apt description of what this book is. It's not a huge book. Again, it's just covering the core OGL monsters in here, but with all the options it presents uh, at the end of every single entry, even if you're just going to run this as a pure fantasy supplement for yourself, those are going to give you ideas that are going to be able to help you change things up and keep your players on their toes. Yeah, hey, me, me, you know, you can be using griffin stats, and yet you're throwing a different kind of creature at them. New flavor, new colors, new textures, new new tropes from your from your setting. But you're not having to do all the heavy lifting. The heavy lifting has been done for you. You're just doing the creative part, which is awesome. So this this, to my mind, help blends itself to the whole turnkey concept of gaming, which is a concept I love, that you, the GM, do the creative stuff, and the mechanics do everything else, so you don't have to do it. So you're not being bogged down by having to recreate a, a creature. This lets you swap one ability out, swap one and in, and you're, you know, you, so you, to, to point cost isn't exact, you're, you're close, good enough, go for it. Um, so there's a lot of value in this book. Um, I don't know if they're still available. From that sale I mentioned, um, but if you can find yourself a copy anywhere at a decent price, I would definitely recommend this book. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I freely admit I didn't read all the, the stats, but I read all the little blurbs at the end of every monster because they were just so cool. Um, and I read the, some of the important iconic monsters because I wanted to see how they did them. Um, and you know, like the vampires have the great anime feel, and the dragons have a great anime feel, and you know things like that. And I think they did a really good job, and I enjoyed uh, the whole vibe. I mean, that's a that's a cool looking Tarask, isn't it? Isn't that cool? And a huge dragon in the background. I mean, that's just that's some nice art right there. Um, so I recommend this book. I think it would be useful to anyone that's running the D20 um, system because it helps you understand how things are broken down by points, and it's particularly useful if you're running either Big Eye Small Mouth D20 or Everstone Blood Legacy. And I think with a little bit of tweaking, you could probably use this with Radiance as well. Um, I think it would be quite possible for a competent GM to pull that off. Um, so go get yourself a copy out there. You're gonna, not going to regret it. I thoroughly and uh, completely endorse it.